we use accounting to communicate useful information about a business to others who have an interest in that business. Accounting starts with an economic event. Once you've identified and understood the economic event, you typically speak accounting by recognizing economic events in your accounting system using the double entry system. You then decide which elements are evident and whether to debit or credit the elements. Next you consider if the recognition criteria have been met to enable you to record the economic event in the accounting records. Finally, you determine at what amount to recognize the economic event at initial and subsequent, which is later, recognition. At this point, you have made a lot of decisions in speaking accounting. You have made choices about which element. You have determined if the recognition criteria have been met. And you have made choices about the measurement base. All of these choices should be grounded in the purpose of accounting, and that is to provide stakeholders with useful information in making decisions about the reporting entity on the basis of the information in its financial report. Financial information is useful when it is relevant and represents faithfully what it purports to represent. The usefulness of financial information is enhanced if it's comparable verifiable, timely, and understandable. In each decision you have made, you should select the option that within the limitations of cost, provide the most beneficial and useful information for the users of that information. For example, does historical cost or fair value provide the most useful information for users 10 years after the acquisition of a property? Is the fair value more relevant to the user's decisions? Does fair value more faithfully represent the property? Faithful representation means a representation of the substance of an economic phenomenon instead of a representation of its legal form only, and wants to maximize the underlying characteristics of completeness neutrality and freedom from error. A neutral depiction is supported by the exercise of prudence. Prudence is the exercise of caution when making judgments under conditions of uncertainty. If the fair value is chosen, does it allow the user to compare the value of the property over time within the entity? Does it allow the user to compare the value of the property to other entities? Can you verify that fair value? Is the fair value information provided timely to the decision making of the users? That is, is the fair value information available to decision makers in time to be capable of influencing their decisions? Will the fair value be understandable? Classifying, characterizing and presenting information clearly and concisely makes it understandable. But some phenomena are inherently complex and cannot be made easy to understand. To exclude this information would make financial reports incomplete and potentially misleading. Financial reports are prepared for users who have a reasonable knowledge of business and economic activities and who review and analyze the information with the necessary diligence.